Hi everybody, Logan here, and today I'm going to walk you through my pantry. Now the coronavirus is very scary, and I'm here to help assist you with that, with how I have my pantry organized. Now, since I'm a chef, I got a lot of weird things, and some of those things are pretty useful and pretty cool, like my powdered peanut butter, going to come in real handy, and some of those things are not so cool, but we're not going to focus on those. Instead, we're going to start with some really, really good things that are kind of underrated, and I think that you should be utilizing a lot more of. First off, we're going to start with a can of tuna fish. Now, I like to not skimp when it comes to tuna fish because, I mean, it's tuna fish. Um, it's kind of overlooked because it is tuna fish and, and it is in a can and, and yada, yada, yada. But it is really, really delicious and really good when you add it with some mayo, a little bit of celery, a little bit of onions, really quick, simple salt, pepper, boom, you have a delicious lunch. Now, that's one that I think people should utilize a lot more of. Another one is canned um, pie-filling fruits. Now, this one's a little bit stranger because you might be thinking, Logan, you hate to bake, and why? Well, the why for these is that you can use them in a multitude of ways. They're really, really, really useful because you can use them on pancakes, you can use them in baked goods, you can use them however you really want. You can even eat them in a bowl if you really want to. And because of that, they're just so versatile that, you know, you can just do whatever you want with them. Another cool thing is, um, you know, I have some roast beef hash in here. I have um, some salsas. Now, the salsas are really, really good because you might be seeing all these people going for the San Marzo tomatoes and all that stuff. Well, you could go for the canned or jarred salsa and effectively get something very, very similar. So you can make a pasta sauce with a salsa instead of a canned tomato, which is a pretty, pretty sneaky trick. Now, another few things I have here is I have some egg noodles, which are going to be really, really delicious with a really nice hearty chicken soup, which is just chicken, water, carrot, celery. Boom. Delicious. Another thing I have here is I have some vinegar. Must have for all gastric sauces, anything. You always need vinegar. Also, it can be used as a disinfectant if you really have to. And another really cool thing I have here that I have personally loved is these skillet taco sauces. Now... You might be wondering, Logan, why? Well, they're just too easy not to use. <laughs> you just open them up, put them in with your ground meat, and then, boom, they're really good. I, I happen to like the Frontera ones. You know, Rick Bayless does a great job. I'm, I'm a pretty big Rick Bayless fan, so <laughs> I like his Frontera seasonings. But they're just so much easier than getting together the canned tomatoes and all your spices. You gotta get out your cumin, you gotta get out your chili powder, you gotta get out a bunch of stuff to make chili. With this, just put in your ground meat, put that in, boom, done. Now right next to that I have some polenta, which is really good. I also have some pink lentils. Oops. <laughs> now for a dry ingredient, these are phenomenal because they are lentils, they cook up great, great side. And let's see, what else do I have in here? Um, I have all my pasta up here. Now mom's Italian, so I have a whole pasta shelf, pretty much. Um, also over here I have some kind of sauces. Now, you really can't underestimate a good sauce. I know that, like, it's just a sauce, but a, a, a bottled sauce can't be bad. You know, sometimes you just need to dip the chicken in it. Something comes out wrong, you just use a little bit of sauce. And let's see, what else? You know, I have some more canned beans, stuff like that, canned fruits, canned jellies. Um, that's about it that I have prepped out. Um, another thing, don't forget your breadcrumbs. These are really important. You can use them in a lot of different things, and they're just they're just too crucial to forget because, you know, if you want to make meatballs, you need breadcrumbs. You want to make meatloaf, you gotta have breadcrumbs. Uh, you want to fry anything, you see, you gotta have breadcrumbs. And also, they can be used to stretch your protein. So, with that, you can get a lot more in. And uh, also, squeeze in an egg and stuff like that, which can, now I know I'm against binders, but you can do it. And in this kind of situation, you might want to stretch out your meat a bit longer and farther by adding in breadcrumbs. Um, I also have some really good things. I have some, some of these, pumpkin seeds. These are great. You know, you just make like a squash soup or something, you gotta have these. They're good to snack on, they're pretty much good for anything. And, um, you know, I also have some chocolate, some fruits, um, a little bit of these mixes. These mixes can be good. Um, they're kind of hit and risk with me, you know, I don't make much baked goods, so they're just kind of eh, of course, you know, just kind of keep it basic, keep it to stuff that you know that you're going to use. 
Like, I know one day I'm going to need this blueberry, canned blueberry topping to make something. Even if it's some crazy gastric or ice cream, I know I'm going to use it. So in that sense, it really doesn't matter if I'm buying it now for coronavirus because the world's going to end. Or if the world doesn't end, I can still use it later. So that's about all the tips I have for my pantry. Hope you enjoyed this little tour. And uh, stay safe out there, guys. You know, wear the gloves, wear the mask, stay inside, and uh, don't get too bored and have a lot of fun cooking. I'll catch you on the flip side.